Hello, football fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sands 3 Minutes Max. We left off yesterday talking about that I was going to show you a big trick to drop to the command line from this ridiculously long file path. We're going to click inside the file path tree. When it turns blue, we are going to type CMD Enter, and it's going to fire a terminal window that is in the directory path we wanted to be. As you can see here, it compares with exactly what we had in our GUI. Now, what about if I wanted to go the other way? Let's just close that window. What if I was at the command line and I was at this ridiculously long path and I wanted to open a GUI window to that same directory? All I have to do is type explore space period enter and it will open a window it takes me right back where I was. But that's not the purpose of this talk. The purpose of this talk is to find out what is in these jump lists and how we parse them. So I'm gonna fire up a program. Well, first I'm gonna look in here and see that everything is there and it is. So now I'm gonna fire JLECMD and I'm gonna point it at a specific file, a dash MS file. I could point it at this entire directory if I want and push everything out, but I'm only after one particular file. In this case, I'm gonna pick the one I want. How do I know what this is? There's a million tables online that show you the app IDs and how they correlate to a program. When I hit enter, you see a bunch of stuff fly by the screen and we're gonna go have a look at some of this. So we see the app ID that we triggered from the file that we wanted. Turns out that that app ID belongs to Microsoft Word 2016. There's seven entries. Let's look at one. We have this. On my desktop, there was a folder call, or a file called keys. Created on this date, last modified on this date. Be careful. This is not the dates of the file. These are the first and last dates that it was interacted with from the jump list. And we can see interaction count is two. It was fired twice. Doesn't have to be from the jump list. It could have been double clicked on an icon on the desktop would populate this. Now, what if I want to push this out to a CSV so that it makes sense to me? Well, I type out the same thing, JLECMD-F and the name, tac tac CSV. And where do I want to put it? I'm going to put it in C colon temp1 and it all rolls by let's go see what we've got in temp1 we have this file that just got created and now we can see the contents of this now I have uh, redacted this there's a lot of fields in here but I've redacted it to look at some of the more important ones have a look at what you see there something else might be important I have my app ID and what that app ID is for I have the paths to all of the files that were in that that particular app ID for for docx the order they were open creation time last modified of the MRE of the jump list and then the target created target modified of the file itself how many times it was interacted with? Now, if the file doesn't exist anymore, where are you going to get this anywhere else? File size drive type. This is cool stuff. Volume serial number. Did it happen on my main drive? Did it happen on an external hard drive? In the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of My Sans 3 Minutes Max.